G'day world, I'm Coram E from Fly On E and I want to show you here today a little tour inside the Pipistrel Alpha Electro. I'm going to flip the camera because I'm in front of the Pipistrel Alpha Electro right now and this is a tour of the interior of this amazing little all-electric aircraft. Now I've got the door propped up at the moment with a very unglamorous broom <laughs> and as you can see the wings currently aren't on this aircraft it has just turned up we've just unpacked it from the shipping container fresh from Pipistrel in Slovenia and I'm going to take you on a little tour inside the cabin here so first of all you'll notice as we lean in that we've got the beautiful leather seats leather trim here really nice detail very good quality seat and the leather detail actually extends up into all of these panels there's uh, leather trim around all of these areas in the aircraft very very nice we've got the uh, super comfortable harness here and you'll see as we move around the aircraft there's a lot of interesting detail carbon everywhere the whole fuselage is a carbon composite build and uh, there's a lot of carbon fiber splash everywhere within this thing lots more leather detail here on the controls on the handles and in the boot area now i'm going to get in the aircraft which is um we're going to do a separate video specifically showing how to get in because there's a bit of a technique to the technique is you have to go in backwards like this and sit into the aircraft and it's quite difficult to do while holding your phone there we go just completely covered the lens uh but now we can have a look at the inside of the air turn the camera around again and we are fine to power up here so i'm just gonna flick the master and then the avionics on so we can have a little look at the pipistrel dash first thing you'll notice is this amazing beautiful carbon detail again everywhere carbon fiber everywhere it's a very modern aircraft and made with very modern materials a lot of lightweight high strength carbon fiber let's have a little look over our control systems here now uh, i've only had this aircraft for a couple of hours so I'm still getting to know it myself, but I'll take you over a, a quick uh, pointer of some of the control systems and some of the indicators we have here. Uh, we've got the artificial horizon here. We've got our S speed indicator. Uh, we've got our RPM of the prop. Prop currently isn't fitted to the aircraft. We'll get that on a little bit shortly. We've got our trim adjustment, uh, which is up here. Now we've got our radio and transponder here and here and this is um, the power management system, which hasn't yet been calibrated. Oh, we're right next to a helicopter hangar, so excuse the background noise. Uh, now we'll accept some information here on our GPS. And we've got our GPS operating up top, which gives us a good indication of where we are in the world. And it has already recognized that we're in Perth, which is great. We've got our altimeter up here, uh, not currently configured, but you'll see everything's digital. Very high accuracy. Uh, very high quality equipment and avionics here to um, get us about. We've got all of our fuses down the bottom and a few other switches like our power socket uh, for charging phones and tablets whilst in flight. Then um, that's about it. Got some intercom controls here. If I flip the camera around and show you the control systems at the back, we've got our, our inputs for the mic and headset. Uh, now, a little bit of a light here, which is exciting. Uh, we are not an IFR rated aircraft, so I'm not entirely sure what the light's for, but maybe if you're planning a flight pre-dawn and you're still waiting for the sun to, come up, sun to come up, you got a little bit of light there that can help you with some of your pre-flight checks and other things. So that's pretty exciting. Don't pull this under any circumstances unless you are crashing, because that is the ballistic parachute deployment system. Uh, we've got the safety pin in there at the moment, so no one can accidentally pull that inside the hangar, because that would be a complete disaster but uh, the aircraft is equipped with a ballistic parachute. So uh, that's the actuator for the ballistic parachute there. And that whole mechanism is in behind the right side seat. Let's flip back around the control systems. We've got our um, flaps here, flap one, flap two, 15 and 25 degrees, flaps off. A nice little in that um, carbon fiber detail that I showed you before. We've got our brakes and our park brake here. Uh, beautiful brakes on this aircraft which you'll see in some of the other videos and very high performance we've got our power 
that's our throttle control. I was going to call it a throttle control. I did again, but um, it's not a throttle because, of course, the aircraft is electric and it has no throttle. This is a power control. So apply to full power and pull back to cut power. Now, interestingly, when you cut power on this aircraft, the prop doesn't turn at idle because, well, there is no idle. Uh, the prop just stops. When power is fully cut, the propeller stops turning. Very amazing. Unless you're on approach to the airport and the propeller will continue to turn and regenerate some energy that tops up the batteries again. Very amazing technology from Pipistrel, thank you. So I'm just gonna center myself in the seat here and we've got our control and our radio button and then uh, I've already adjusted the pedals for, for my height so that's giving me my rudder control there and uh, that's everything I need to control the aircraft. This guy, these guys, Power, flaps, brakes, avionics. Amazing aircraft, really, really good visibility as you can see here. The wings aren't on yet, so there's some uh, cross spars that will be in this area when the wings are fitted. And uh, we lose a little bit of visibility out to the side, of course, because there'll be a wing in there. But we've got this amazing visibility above and out the front of the cockpit. And of course, these amazingly large side windows which give us a lot of visibility as well. Now exiting the aircraft is very similar to the entry. You need to bring your leg over the stick, put your feet out. We don't have the spats on at the moment so it's one less thing to worry about and then simply jump out and down and we've exited the Pipistrel Alpha Electro cockpit. Very amazing, very excited to be flying this aircraft in just a couple of days after we get everything built up and my engineer signs off on it, uh, then we can take this guy out for some test flying and get a feel of how she flies. Very powerful, I hear amazing things about the uh, ability of flight of the Pipistrel Alpha trainer, and or in this case the Alpha Electro. So um, we're very excited to go flying. It's a beautiful machine, we'll get it built up soon make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm going to have heaps and heaps more content on the Pipistrel Alpha Electro and you can see this journey as it unfolds as we get the Alpha all set up and flying and as we start training people in the flight school in Jandicott in Western Australia and as we forge ahead to shape and create the electric aircraft revolution. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.